Hello and welcome to this session on Git and GitHub. We are starting with a series on Git and GitHub and we will learn the very basics of these terms and how do we practically implement and start with Git and GitHub. So let us begin this session and let us see we are going to learn today what GitHub actually means, what is GitHub, is there any relationship between Git and GitHub and how do we uh, use git and github and we will see a very simple workflow for this so let us begin and let us start with git so uh, git is a version control system so i'll write it down it's version version control system and what does this mean is let us uh, see a very simple explanation of a version controlling system let us say you have a file that you want to work on and you want to maintain all the changes and you want to track all the changes you make to this file. So what you can do, you can use some version control system which will track all the changes in your file and it will maintain all the version history. So you can go back and you can see, look into any version and, and look at all the changes you made in a file. So in the same way, Git is also a version control system. When we are working on our source code, on when we are working on any of our uh, files and folders, and we want that this file or folder should be controlled by versions or all the changes that we are doing on this particular project should be tracked, then we use a version control system. So in simple words, we can say to track changes in files or folders why I am using the uh, terminology files and folders is because even when you work on the source code at the end of the day everything is files and folders so we want to track the changes that we make to our source code or to our files or to our folders and for that we use a version control system and git is a kind of version control system the other reason we want to use git will be to collaborate in teams okay so let us again see this diagram here we are working on our local system and we have a single file that only you are working on in that case it makes a uh, very little sense to use a version control system because you are the only person who is working on this particular file but let us imagine when there are multiple people working on the same file in that case version control systems becomes very important because a person a checks out the file and he makes some changes and a person b again checks out the same file and makes his changes now in that case we want to track all the changes made by all the people on that particular file so in that case version control system becomes very important and that is why we use tools like git to track the changes in your code or in your files and folders so uh, this is what git is and this is why git is used now let us learn about version control system we have two types of version control systems one is centralized version control system and then we have distributed version control system okay now what does this mean is let us again look at the centralized version control system here we will have a repository which is placed on a server and then there are different people working on that repository so you can see this is workstation pc number one workstation two and workstation three and all of these guys are working on this repository now what they do is they uh, work on this repository online make their changes commit it and so they can collaborate okay but here is uh, the major disadvantage is that this is a single repository which is placed on a server so if anything goes wrong here because we have a single copy placed on a server so if anything goes wrong here it will be difficult for us to maintain the uh, backup and bring the repository to the normal position also 
the people who are working on this repository have to be connected always and have to be online to work on their systems because this repository is placed on a server so these people have to be online to collaborate okay so this is what a central version control system is and then we have a distributed version control system now here there is a repository on the server as we have seen in the central version control system but every person can pull and create his local repository so you can see uh, workstation 1 has a local repository workstation 2 has his own copy workstation 3 has his own copy so one of the major advantage of distributed version control system is if anything goes wrong here on the server we can back up the repository from any local system because these are the complete copy of the repository that is one major advantage the second major advantage here is you do not, do not need to be online every time you can pull the repository take your local copy and keep on working on it in an offline mode and you will need an internet connection only when you want to push the changes so only when you want to push or pull you need to be connected otherwise you can keep working offline and uh, maintain all your work and once you are done you can push the changes so this is the advantage of a distributed version control system and you might have guessed by now git is a distributed version control system okay and that is why git is very famous popular and it is also free and open source so i'll also write here it is free and open source system so a lot of people use git okay now let us see let us also go to our browser and see about git so this is the website i'm going to git scm.com and here they say git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large projects okay and in the coming session we will see exactly how to download and get started uh, with git for now let us go to our second uh, topic which is github okay now uh, github is you can say a website to upload your repositories online okay so if we go to again google and say github it will take you to this website of github and you can see this github fosters a fast flexible and collaborative development process and that lets you work on your own or with others okay and you can use github for uh, putting all your git repositories online or any any repositories in that sense okay so in very simple words github is a website which you can use to upload your repositories and what are the advantages of this why do you want to use it number one is it provides a backup for your repository so your repositories are, are now backed up on a cloud okay so that is a very the major advantage of using github other thing is it provides visual interface to your repositories so when you go to when you add your repositories on github you can go to the github page and you can view and it provides you a very nice visual interface okay the other thing will be it makes collaboration easier so what you can do is you can add your uh, repositories to github you can make it private or public or share with some people and it makes very easy to collaborate your repositories uh, with other people or your team so that is what github is it's a website to upload your repositories online so now is git related to github the answer is no git is not equal to github git is a version control system 
whereas github is just a website where you can put your repositories so you can use github with any version control system it can be git or it can be some other version control system in the same way you can use git with any online repository management system it can be github it can be bitbucket or anything else so you can use git uh, with github or you can uh, you can use git with some other online management repository system git is not related to github although most of the projects use git and github together but technically they are not related okay so uh, this is the there is no relation between git and github they are two different things okay now let us look at a very simple workflow of git and let us look at this diagram so uh, when we actually start using git in our next session what we are going to do and what the actual workflow looks like is this is a remote repository and this is our local system let us say our repository is uh, put on a server it is placed on a server which is this remote server we can do a clone or we can do a pull to take all the repositories present here into our local system so here we can get all the repositories let us say we have all these four repositories or different branches of our repositories now we can take or check out any branch it will create a working copy for us and now we can do all our work on this working copy and we can be offline during these changes so we can do all the changes updates here once we are done with our changes we can do a add command and what will add command do is it will put all our changes on a staging area it will still not commit it it will just put on a staging area and then we have to execute a commit command which will uh, make all our changes and commit it to the local repository but at this point it has still not pushed it to the remote repository so we have to again do a push command which will push our changes to the remote repositories okay so this is the a very simple workflow for git how do we pull and push the changes and we will actually see this working in our next session so this is what git and github is and we have learned about version control system and what github is and what is the relation between git and github and a simple workflow in our next session we will download git we will start our practicals with git and github in a very basic way hope you like it keep learning thank you